Yo, this is a ton of place. Pokemon Shining Pearl. We were now at Route 224. We can't progress further because we don't have the Oak's letter. But if you do, you can meet Professor Oak here. He will then cause the Pokemon Shaman to appear. Shaman will make all this place become grass, and a long, long route north will come here. At the end, you can fight Shaman, and then you can capture it. And then you have a mythical Pokemon Shaman. If not, then unfortunate. Now, in the Pokemon games, for a long time, multiple generations, there's been a special Pokemon trainer named after a Game Freak developer which is available to fight, called Morimoto. He is also in this game and he's located at the Valor Lakefront. Two ways to get there, either from Veilstone City, you can go there from Shinishore City, or from Pastoria City. I think it's probably easier now to go from Shore City after that one has been unlocked. Which you can do after you've done the Galactic uh, storyline, finishing up there. Now, do warn, Morimoto has very powerful Pokémon. His Pokémon are high level. In this game, they are in the mid-60s. And he has a full team. So be warned, it won't be a cakewalk. Poor Rose Raid, it's so slow compared to me, so I'll run faster. Come on, Sir Rose Raid, there we go. Good Rosarit. Very nice Pokemon. Just go up here to the Valley Lakefront, go to the hotel area, and you can see the guy in the swimming pool there. That is actually a Game Freak developer. First things first, let's do a change to our. Well, we haven't even healed up our Pokemon yet. That's, uh, that's lazy of me, so apologize. Super Potion should be fine. It's exactly fine. Or 10 HP more. But the old potion would have been fine too. Let's see. Um, was it Roserade? Yeah, Roserade should go first. Yeah, that's best. Let's just save our game in case. Don't think you need it, but hey, it's, 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 it's worth to do it. Then just talk to this guy here, and get ready to fight. Well, blow me over! You beat the champion? Now that's something worth writing home about. The name's Morimoto. I've been waiting for a strong trainer like you to come find me. If you got faith in your own skill, care to join me in a match? Yep, we are, Morimoto. Let's battle. That's the ticket. Now watch out, because Morimoto's got more than enough something that I didn't get. Here he is, Game Freak's Morimoto. And he has a Spirit Tomb. Yeah, that's why I started out with uh, Rose Raid, because Rose Raid knows Dazzling Gleam. So, Spirit Tomb was one of the Pokemon that had no weaknesses in this game until Generation 6. He's a dual type Dark and Ghost. Which means the only weakness he has is Fairy. Good damage, but not enough because we're not a Fairy type, so we don't have that manage to do more. Spirit Tomb will be using a berry to heal up as well. And now it's going to respond with using Will O Wisp. So Will O Wisp is a um, move that will cause a burn on the, on the opponent. The Rose Red is using the happiness to cure burns that can happen as well. Sometimes you'll cure status effects by usage of um, usage of happiness. But it doesn't always have always work though, so it's a bit RNG. Doesn't really matter much for burn though. Burn does reduce attack power, but don't really worry about that. This game is a special attack. Let's do it again. And this time the spirit tomb goes down. Out for Spirit Tomb. Throws it now level 71. It's getting stronger and stronger. Metasham is also level 68. Next up will be Flareon. Yeah, this guy has multiple EV evolutions, including Flareon, which is the fire type evolution of the EV family. Pure fire type. An offensive threat. It's more of an offensive attacker. So you only hit it with. Uh, it's, it's weak to. Weak to ground, weak to 
fire, weak to water. So, a surf will do the job. Bell's a bit fast, superpower next. Powerful fighting move, but it will drastically cut its own attack power and defense power. Comes surf. And that's gonna land, and that is going to be it for Flareon. Flareon going down. Now, is it Hippo down? Hippo down, a ground type Pokemon. Pure ground type as well. We can just stick with, uh, with this one. Evil Sandstream, Sandstream. Causing it to be a sandstorm. Nothing to worry about though. One more surf. Should work, but he will withdraw it. And he will send in Vaporeon. Good combination. Vaporeon, the water type evolution. And Vaporeon has the water absorbability, causing it to be immune to water attacks. Well, if you want to switch, I can switch too. Let's bring in Rosary. Hydro Pump from Vaporeon on Roserade. Won't do too much damage because Roserade is a grass type. He is resistant to water. So Vaporeon wants to fight. So do I. Giga Drain. Good damage. Warm enough to kill it though because Vaporeon has pretty high special defense. And very high HP too. Ice Beam now, it's going to miss, good for us. Ice Beam is a good counter for water Pokemon against grass types. But luckily it missed. The opponent also has a Citrus Berry to restore some HP, which really won't help it that much though. I think one Giga Drain more should do the trick. I hope. Oh no, it did not. Not enough. Still though, it's gonna be back to full health. Ice speed number two. This is gonna hit. Super effective against uh, Roserade. Roserade will survive though. And Vaporeon will not. The Sandstorm will take care of Vaporeon. That's another one down. Lorette 68 on Rapidash and then Polyon is level 70. Next up is Ambipom. Ambipom, a normal type Pokemon. So let's bring out uh, our own fighting type Pokemon, Medicham. Where's the Ambipom? Let's call it Drain Punch. Ambipom is Fake Out. Whoa, that's a lot of damage from a very regular Drain um, Fake Out. Drain Punch again then. Comes Fling. Towards King's Rock on it. Seems damage, but not much. But we will then use. Oh, we can't. Because we got uh, f we got flinched. Double hit from Ambi Pump, hitting once and twice. And my god, Ambi Medjam got KO'd. Yeah, Ambi Pump is not to be uh, luck buff. We were a bit unlucky though with hitting by the flinched uh, King's Rock from Fling. But we have more Pokemon that can use fighting moves. Let's bring in Staraptor. Intimidate from Ambipom. Now let's use close combat. Ice Punch! That's gonna be good to counter against flying ties, but welcome to close combat. That's gonna KO the Ambipom. So Marmoto has been tough so far, but we do have our own counters as well. Ambipom is gonna go down. Next up will be Jolteon. Yeah, he has all the Cantonian uh, evolutions of Eevee, including Jolteon as well. Jolteon is a um, an electric type. Let's then switch out that. Let's bring in Staraptor out and bring in our Rapidash. Jolteon is very, very fast. High special attack too. Other than that, nothing much to worry about. 
with Fire Blast. Volt Switch, causing electric damage and causing it also to switch out. Out from Jolteon, and in comes Hippo Down. Good choice. Back with more Sun Streams. And Rapidash for his Fire Blast. It will hit. The damage will be more mediocre. Critical hit though, which is good. Be warned, one Rapidash ground hit now, and Rapidash is going to go down. Hippo Down is going to heal a bit because it, you know, it has leftovers. Leftovers is a great uh, hold item for Pokemon that have um, high HP. Let's go Flare Blitz. Just go all out in this one. Not too much damage. Recoil is going to hit as well. Earthquake. This is going to be a KO for sure. No chance Rapidash. It's weak to ground, so... Not much you can do. Versus that one. That's fine. That door is going to heal a bit more on Hippo Down. Let's bring in Empoleon. He's almost... Empoleon... Actually, let's bring in Roserade. Because Roserade can then heal up with Giga Drain. Heal up the Giga Drain with Roserade. Hippo Down is going to go down as well. There should be two Pokemon left. There should be the Flareon and the Jolteon left now. We got Jolteon again. Um, should we change? We can just take this, I think. There's Jolteon. He probably use Wall Switch again because he has a Flareon out. He can help versus us, but. We'll try. Let's go Sludge Bomb then, in just in case. Shadow Ball. Which is a uh, Ghost special attack. Doesn't really do much damage because it's not a Ghost type. Sludge Bomb comes in. Doing some damage. We probably get killed now if we do uh, go for one more turn. So I'm going to do a little cheat here. I'm going to use a. Uh, Max Potion onto Rose Raid or Yeah. Rose Raid. Max Potion. It's cheating, sure, but that's fine. Shadow Ball again. Doing some damage, but not too much, but now it's gonna be worse because now our special defense goes down, meaning that it's gonna do even more damage to us. No more sandstorm, so now we're just gonna do more more surge bomb. Some thunder wave. It's gonna get paralyzed, which means we have a chance to not be able to attack. Would work though. It will not. Some surge bomb on Jolteon. And Jolteon goes down. Strapter is 71 and Luxray is level 70. Nice. Almost full team on the 70s now, which is pretty good. And oh, yeah, we did beat the Flareon, I forgot. And so we proved that the strongest and most amazing of all is actually you. Yeah, I forgot I actually beat Flareon. I thought I didn't kill it. You're really strong, I should have known. Since you managed to trounce me, I guess you earned yourself a reward. Let me get the Oval Charm. Let's have ourselves a rematch someday. Yeah, I think you can battle him every day, I think. Once per day. Get the Oval Charm, and that's uh, pretty cool. Oval Charm means that you have increased chance to getting Pokemon eggs at the nursery. So, it means that the daycare will have increased chance of getting eggs. I think it's nice because some Pokemon have an... It takes a bit longer to get eggs to uh, to come. And with the Oval Charm, that one's just going to be making it a bit easier. Let's just fly and just go. Up here, just gonna rest my Pokemon. So that is gonna be uh, well, that's enough for this episode at least. There are more trainers like this we can fight, but not really a lot too much in the open world. Morimoto is more or less the more known one. He has been in most Pokemon games for a long time. I don't remember which one was the first time he was, but I think he's been part of most games. I think the first game he was was in Gen 5. Then he was in the in Gen 5 and Gen 
Was it Gen 6? Can't remember. But it wasn't Gen 7 and Gen 8, Sword and Shield. I'm not sure if it's in Gen 9. Um, since I'm recording this before the game has been released, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're gonna do some more exploration. We're gonna explore a place that we haven't been to yet. We should have been there before, but we can do that right now or later on. And then we're gonna explore the uh, new Remnants Park to the south. We're going to rebuild the gym leaders, and then we're gonna find more legendary Pokémon. And finally, in the end, we're gonna take on the Pokémon League for the second time. And then we'll see after that. So there's still a lot more stuff to do in the post game of. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's good for now. I'll see you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl. Good